Well, we thought we'd finish for the day. We were going to have a lazy afternoon, chilling out, a bit of relaxing lunch. And then we got a phone call that there's a bloody swarm down the main street. Great excitement, but I can, I don't know, I'm tipping that it's not going to be nothing, but still. Anyway, Bush B-Man on call out 24-7 at the minute. <laughs> bloody hell. What do you got? Oh man, things are getting interesting. We're down the main street now. <laughs> I might just sit here and watch them for a minute. I'll get me pot out. Check that shit out. Here we go, here we go. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Under the rotunda. My God, they're busy. <laughs> Yeah, do we reckon we're gonna get on? What do you reckon, chicks? What's going on here? We all good? Yep. <laughs> Hopefully she's in there. Look at this lot. <laughs> Good God. I love the way they got their little, like they hang on with their little bums up, fanning their asses off. Sorry, gals. My God. Let's head to the box. That would be good. Head to the box. <laughs> oh, they're banging me on the head, John. <laughs> they're like, stop sweeping us, Bush B man. My God. That was a beautiful swarm. We thought it might have been a false alarm, but there you go. You never know what's going to happen. We've got all our spies out around the Riverland, and everybody's on board with the Bush B man's rescue mission. So that's good. Look out. <laughs> If I was to make this catching pot again, I'm going to actually, you know what we should do? Come to think of it, I should actually get some tape and put a tape strip along this bloody lip because all the ladies run up to try to get back together but they run up under this bump. So there's an idea. I, ah, it's a process, isn't it? This creating shit out of nothing. Looking pretty promising. Ah, no, shit! Ah. I had a little plastic cup and cap off of a drink bottle that I was using for a prop, and now it's fallen in. See, this is what happens when you improvise. I should have just got my stick like normal. Just a little pod. Improvisation here at the Bush Bee Company. Oh, Charlie. I'll have to get on the council preferred wrangling bee. What is that called? No, preferred contractor. They sent me some paperwork to be a bee catcher for them, and it's like 27 pages. And at least my lovely wife, she's actually the um, what is she? The health safety officer at work. So I put her down as my safety officer. So I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I don't know. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It's been interesting here in the bloody main street. <laughs> hey champ, how you going? <laughs> We're just getting a few bees off of the tree. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, we might turn this into an advert for Loxton. <laughs> Come to Loxton and get a swarm of bees. <laughs> Don't you blow. But I reckon I'm going to get some tape. So let's see how they all get underneath that lip. And they would just run straight in. We wouldn't have to go to all this trouble.
well, I reckon that's enough of that. A little few stragglers will be back, coming back. We can't, we're not going to get them all anyway, because there's some of the bees that have been out on a bit of a scout are coming back. They sort of come back in little waves. They were hardly any here a minute ago, and now they sort of come back another few. But anyway, so they're going to come back and think, I could have sworn we left them here. Bugger me, dead. <laughs> I reckon with it, I don't think they're going to relocate to our house, the leftover ones. But anyway, these little darlings, they're destined to make some honey for you guys. So, next time you get some honey on your toast from the bush bee man, it might have been out of the asses of these little asses. Hang on, that doesn't come out their ass actually. <laughs> Here's some little Loxton bees. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh. Now the interesting thing about Mother Nature, of course, she doesn't give a stuff of a Sunday. She's just doing her thing. So you've just got to go when you get the call. It's got to happen. Anyway, here we go. So we'll just drop them in our box here. I'm just going to tap them and just we we'll see if we can pick up the little bits and pieces that fell in the bloody box as we were trying to get these girls organised. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's, it's some bee soups. Looks like they've all settled down nicely and found themselves a new home. So we're just going to lift this lid up very carefully and have a bit of a peekaboo. Get that over there like that. Just drop them in. Thank you, chicks. Just do your thing, dangling in outer space there. <laughs> that was a beautiful big swarm. Oh my gosh, it's good to have all these bush bee man spies out. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. You're a dude. Well done. We weren't totally convinced when we got the call, but you've obviously got a good eye. So you never know. We might have some Lucas honey. Cool. Well, there's the Lucas bees safely in their new box. So that's all very good. So if you get a phone call from a concerned citizen, make sure you run out and grab your swarm. Thank you very much. <laughs> huh. We'll see how they're going later when we come back. <laughs>